In a new movie that shows how they move, Tesla shows off how well its Optimus robots can walk. The video shows the progress that has been made in the almost two years since CEO Elon Musk promised to make humanoid robots and brought a person dressed as a robot on stage to start the project. Musk showed the movie to Tesla shareholders last week at a meeting. He showed how different Optimus droids could do different things. Musk called them companions, and he talked about how they can now walk, pick up things, and use Tesla tools. In the movie, you can see that the robots walk and jump almost as well as humans do. The video also shows how much control the robots have over how they move. For example, one robo's rubber foot steps on an egg but doesn't break it. Autopilito is the same software that Tesla's self-driving cars use to move and find their way. The robots can also learn directly from people by copying what workers in motion tracking suits and cameras on their heads do. Musk says that the ultimate goal is to use robots when a job is too dangerous or repetitive for humans to do. They aren't meant to take jobs away from people, though. Musk says that the robots will be sold in the next five years and will cost less than $20,000. Musk said in his talk, as full self-driving gets closer and closer to generalized AI in the real world, the same software can be used on a humanoid robot. I think that most of Tesla's long-term worth will come from Optimus, and I'm sure that's what will happen. Even though engineers have only been working on Optimus for about a year, Musk thinks it will be ready in three to five years and could cost less than $20,000. He also said that the bot could be more important to the company than electric vehicles apps. Musk said, I think that most of Tesla's long-term value will come from Optimus, and I'm very sure of that prediction. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, said last year that a robot that looked like a person would be made. That robot showed up this week at Tesla Day 2022. Musk welcomed the robot as it shuffled onto the stage and said, we've come a long way. It was a far cry from the person in a robot suit from last year, but it wasn't quite the Optimus robot he said was on the way. OpenAI-backed company 1X puts the world's first AI robot to work, beating Elon Musk's Tesla bot to the punch. We told you a week ago that Tesla and Sanctuary AI, a robotics company based in Vancouver, are getting ready for their A-powered robots to take over the workforce. Now, it looks like another company has used its humanoid robot in a business setting. Elon Musk's Tesla was the first company to put an AI robot to work, but 1X, which is backed by Sam Altman's OpenA, beat them to it. The robot named Eve is said to be working as a security guard at a place where androids are made. People say that the robot is changing how security and monitoring work. Advanced tracking systems like cameras, motion detectors, and alarm sensors keep an eye on Eve. And the craziest thing about the robot is that, according to reports, if an android acts up, Eve can enter its body through virtual reality and take control. Reports say that Eve is very flexible. The robot can open windows and doors, go get things, and do other things that people can do. The market for humanoid robots is expected to be worth $17.3 billion by 2027, so it's not surprising that companies are trying to make the most advanced ones. 1X is NEO, the humanoid robotics company 1X Technologies just revealed that OpenA will lead its Series A2 fundraising to make androids for sale. People think that the company plans to use the money to make it easier to build its two-legged android robot NEO and to make more EVEs so that Norway and North America can buy them. Even though it wasn't completely steady on its feet, the Bumble C robot, keeping with the Transformers naming pattern, was able to carefully walk out in front of the crowd without any extra help. It then slowly walked back off stage, its exposed cable swaying. The rest of the program showed what the robot could do in more controlled situations. For example, it could lift and move a sheet of metal, carry a box in an office, and water a plant. The two-legged robot is a long way from being done, but it did show that researchers had moved past the stage where a person would pretend to be a computer. Due to overlapping parts, the presentation also hints at a possible connection with Tesla cars. The robots will use the same battery, computer gear, and computer software that are in Tesla cars. 
This could even help the Tesla autopilot, which helps the cars drive themselves. Musk and the Tesla team have said that the goal is to make a robot that can work all day, carry a 20-pound bag, use tools, and grip with precision. All of that in a 160-pound robot that costs only $20,000 seems impossible, but Bumble C's slow walk shows that a lot of work has gone into this project. We're going to start with simple tests in the plant with Optimus. You know, like maybe just loading a part like you saw in the video, Musk said. Right now, all we want to do is make a basic humanoid work well. Our goal is to get there as quickly as possible. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out.